so much blessed thank you for your opportunity stopping by to listen to this message now there has been a message of three days of darkness that is going to happen i have seen a lot of people on youtube youtube preachers many of the people have touched on this topic and everybody is saying there is going to be three days of darkness please if you see this video send them this video and let them hear this and god will bless you and it will be a blessing to them as well i promise you by the grace of god now i strongly believe that the whole of three days of darkness that is about to happen it is a lie it is a formulated lies that has nothing to do with god that god is not in this message that there shall be no three days of darkness now when you listen to them carefully i have listened to them well every one of them is saying or this is how they presented their message some of them said god showed me in a dream three days of darkness some said it is a vision they had where god was telling them about an event that is coming three days of darkness some also said it is a revelation some any of them many of them just spoke about three days of darkness but i strongly believe that it is on scripture and it is a lie and it is not of god now all of us who preach on youtube or to the youtube preachers be very careful. Stop messing with the children of God. Stop messing with the people of God. If you understand the value of the gospel, if you understand the price of the gospel, if you understand the cost of the gospel, you will not put up things that you are doing for this personal gain because it involves money because it involves fame and when we live in times and in era when when a person says when god told me god showed me a vision i received from the lord it somehow drags attention or it somehow attracts attention many people are taking advantage of this and uh, it's almost every now and then god said god told me god showed me let us be very careful many many people risk their life for the gospel that you and i are listening to for the gospel that people listen to you when you say because people have paid a huge price for the gospel now if you want to know the whole price of the church and of the people of god is equally to the son of god the bible said he was spitted on he was slapped and then he was mistreated they called him a thief. They released a murderer and punished and crucified the Son of God just because of you and I. Therefore, you do not mess with the children of God and, and go scot free. God will not take this lightly. In the sight of God, it matters. So when Matthew was writing, he said, Every word that we will speak, we shall give an account in the day of judgment. This thing of God told me, and we know that it's not of God. It's even an indication that we never fear God, or we don't even have regard or honor or respect for God. Some of the things we do here, we know it is a lie. God is not in it. God never spoke to us, but we drag the name of God into lies. Now, the Bible said that when God gave Moses, the Ten Commandments, one of its one of the Ten Commandments was that thou shall not mention the name of your God in vain. And everything that we are doing, God is watching us. Don't take for granted. Most of the time, Paul the Apostle, one of the greatest apostles that ever lived in the era of the New Testament, most of the times Paul himself could not preach until he has already indicated his intentions, his conscience, and he will hear him saying, what I am sharing with you or I'm about to share with you, it is not something that is a force. It's not lies. My conscience bear me witness that everything I am sharing with you, I have received of the Lord. And these were his words. You don't take for granted the gospel. The gospel, many people have risked their life for this. Let us stop all these lies and games that we are praying with the people of God in the sight of God it matters God looks into this matter and God does not take it lightly like you think he does let us all repent and stop all these formulated lies just so that when you sound like a spiritual person people will listen to you listen if it is about fame God can give you a fame if it is about money God can give you money it is about glory 
If it is about glory, God can give you glory. Just take your time and follow the right order. Remember, God is a God of an order. And when you follow the right order, God will surely bless us. Remember also that there is a lot of an attention on us as people of God and as Christians. And many people are watching us. All these things of vision and all these things of revelation and all these things of dream. And we know that God hasn't spoken to us. Let us stop because when those prophecies fail and it doesn't come to pass, it brings shame and it brings disgrace to the body of Christ. It seems to see in us as lies and they will never buy into the message that we are putting out there. Remember the gospel costed the blood of the son of God, Jesus. And many, many honored men, men of glory, men, anointed men perish because of this gospel. Let us be very careful whatever we are putting out there. And many of you also that are listening to them, be very careful when you hear a message, compare it with the word of God and see what God has to say. Let us be very careful. God is watching all of us. Shalom, peace, and be blessed. Stay anointed and ever alert.